Hey guys, my name is Marlo. I'm here in Las Vegas. I'm gonna teach you how to water your plants and trees in the fall and winter. So I made a video before and uh, by accident, I made it number one on Google and uh, for Las Vegas. And uh, I just noticed there's some details that I left out that I wanted to emphasize on. So that's why I'm recreating this video. So if I'm able to help you out, please smash a like so other people here in Las Vegas can find this video. That'd be awesome. So first off, we're going to start off with your front yard. Usually those trees are in plants were put in by your builder. And usually they're drought tolerant or just native trees to Las Vegas that don't even need that much water to begin with. So, so just keep in mind, you're only going to water your plants and trees in the fall two days a week and in the winter one day a week. And that's according to the Nevada Water Authority. I'll leave a link in the description so you can also find your zone. So for my zone, I only water Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So your zone may be different. So you're just gonna put in your address so you can find your zone and your days may be different. So also keep in mind in your backyard, you have more, a little bit more customization of plants and trees. And I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on how much water to give those trees and plants. So let's get started. So here's my backyard here. First off, I'm going to start off with these oleanders. So when you're dealing with drought tolerant like this plant here is oleanders. Just keep in mind these are poisonous to uh, animals. So if you have a dog that absolutely eats everything, uh, you wouldn't want to put this in your backyard. They're poisonous. Nice flowers though, as you can see. We're in the fall and they're still blooming. So right here we have a Japanese blueberry. I, I emphasize on this tree because I see a lot of people get these trees and they die. And because uh, you need to know the absolutely amount of water to water these guys. Because if not, they'll die. And these will stay green even in the winter. Then over here we have a climbing jasmine, which I highly recommend they stay green during the whole time as well and then here we've got the white flowers here okay so right here japanese blueberry in the summertime i leave my irrigation on for one hour okay that's the summertime because this tree this is how you know how to water this tree, uh, uh, any tree that's a tropical tree is 24 gallons of water in the summer right in one hour and i know this because it's in a 24 inch box it gets 24 gallons if it was your tree was in a 15 gallon it would get 15 gallons of water if your tree was in a five gallon pot then it would get five gallons of water during the summer so rule of thumb in the fall and winter it's divided by half so since it's divided by half it's 12 gallons of water per watering. So if we know during the fall, you're watering only two to three days a week, and then winter one day a week requires 12 gallons each watering. So if you had a 15 gallon tree, divide that in half, seven gallons per watering, okay? So right here, drought tolerant, these guys, I only give them about a half a gallon of water each watering. During the summer, I'll give them a gallon, but during uh, fall and winter, just one half gallon, okay? So these climbing jasmine here, as you can see, um, during the fall and winter, I only give these guys, since they have so many leaves, give them just a gallon of water each watering one gallon of water okay and then these little guys right here only one half of a gallon for watering so you got to pay attention to the irrigation um so guys you got to really pay attention to uh the irrigation drippers that you put on your plants right so if you know like i only water now for 30 minutes now so you always got to keep that math in consideration so if i know 
let's say right here I put a, a one gallon per hour dripper right one gallon per hour and I know if it's only gonna be on for 30 minutes it's gonna get one half gallon so that's the kind of math I'm talking about so we're gonna here if you're the best time to plant a tree like this if you get from Home Depot or wherever you get your tree is during the fall it's right now so when you do plant a new tree you got to water it for three to four days straight it's just a rule of thumb so it doesn't have plant shock you know what i mean and then also i highly recommend this fish fertilizer it's called alaska fish fertilizer you can get this at lowe's um i don't think i've seen it at home depot or you can get it online i'll leave a link in the description but during this month, October, you have to fertilize your trees and plants. If not, they're going to, you know, possibly die. You need to give it food. Okay? So it can last through the winter. So let's go over here to this massive Japanese blueberry tree right here that I'm proud of. This one's huge. A big tree like this goes for like $2,500 at the Moon Nursery. So imagine if this guy died. That's a lot of money down the drain. I didn't pay $2,500 for it. I just seen trees this size go for that much right now. I think I paid $700 for it. But there you guys go. I've got other videos. Look on the video list that actually talks about how to use your irrigation. And for a small yard, you don't need all these irrigation pipes underneath your yard. I chose an above ground irrigation. So my irrigation is connected to my hose. I only pay like $100 for this connection. It goes underneath the ground all along that sitting bench. And it goes all the way down. And it just goes all the way to the tree and against the wall. And why I like it that way is because I have more control. If there's any leaks or anything like that, I can, I'll can i be able to see the leaks. Versus some landscaper coming and digging in my ground trying to find this leak. You know what I mean? Hey guys, I just want to let you guys know a little tip or trick. Uh, here in Las Vegas, the dirt and soil is real hard. So you're not going to use a shovel when you plant a tree or plant. You're going to use a weighted bar to make it easier. Here's the weighted bar right here. And it weighs about 17 pounds and it makes digging very easy, right? You can just dig in the ground much easier and dig your hole because the shovel is not heavy enough to get through the dirt. I also have a demolition jackhammer with a shovel, which I got real cheap online. I'll help you guys find it. But if you're going to grow a lot of plants or trees, you need that demolition jackhammer. It's like 200 bucks. But uh, that's the secret on getting through the dirt here in Las Vegas. So I just wanted to add that and let you guys know. Just one quick tip. Just keep in mind a lot of cactuses, succulents, or some trees go into dormancy. So you don't want to water these cactuses or plants or trees during this time because they will get root rot. So there's just one thing to know and uh, not to do. So make sure you look up what kind of plant, tree or cactus you have and make sure it's not in dormancy so you don't overwater. So guys, thanks for joining me. Continue to check out these videos by subscribing. I will always put out good content, help you around the house, give you guys good content, guys. So thank you. Take care.